Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Workers and Resources. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm loving the comments. Thank you so much for doing that on these past videos. I appreciate it. I've been reading them. And uh, as you guys know, I like to give a variety of different styles in uh, different playthroughs, especially long ones. I like to give sort of different styles that fit for everybody's needs just to see what people like. So today, and I think tomorrow too, I think that, well, or whatever the next video is that posts. I'm sorry for not posting daily, but it's just the way, it's the reality of my day right now, my reality of my life right now. Um, we're going to try the show every single thing happening always approach. Because some people just want to see it all. Every single thing. So, you know what? We're going to do that today. And uh, the next day. And maybe the next day after that. I haven't decided yet. Uh, and it's nice that we're doing that now. Because it's about to be the first winter with people. Oh, goody. So, it's October 17th. And um, I have a little... I have a couple of things I need to clear up. I need to have a couple of things that are maybe not working real well. Let me show you. First thing. We are nearly out of steel. And we're nearly out of bricks. And we're completely out of boards. So we've been building things, as you know. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Now, one thing I can do. I do have this reserve supply over here. Uh, of At least bricks and boards. I don't have enough. So, like, bricks, for example, right? Uh, we're getting prefabs from here right in the moment. But we can actually switch this to get bricks from here. And then they'll go and do that. Uh, and then the boards are right here. We can tell them to get the boards from here. Now, that is slower. But at least it's a supply you can reach. Okay? Uh, and the same thing will happen here. We're going to say that you get your bricks from here, and you're going to get your boards from here. And at least, again, that buys us a little bit of time. Plus, as they clear these out, we get to delete them, right? There's no more gravel here. And there's no more gravel here either. Oh, good. And you're waiting till loaded. So that's, like, endless then. Good. Good for you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, delete these. So they are no longer... No longer needed. No longer necessary. Everything's fine there. Uh, and this thing's gone too. Get rid of that. And uh, I think this office here that's got some bulldozers, excavators, things like that. We can move this maybe over into here if we ever want to like flatten this out. I mean, it looks pretty flat already. But I might want to do some work over here to get ready for cable cars. Okay, so I've already kind of done some of it. I've been trying to flatten out this area on this side of the road with my uh, excavators and stuff. And uh, I'm thinking like with uh, this road depot just kind of sitting over here, I'm gonna have all of these guys just come chill over here so I can have a better, you know, I can work with these things a little bit better. I have more equipment for this. Uh, this nice asphalt road is done, which is great. That's what we started the video with, but they're starting to work on this little segment here. And then you may have noticed if I come all the way, come over all the way through here, oh, I can speak, I know. Uh, if I come all the way over here, you might notice that this is now done too, but I, I missed one of the waypoints, unfortunately. And uh, there's a waypoint right here, apparently. And I missed it. And so they didn't do all the way to the end here. So they left this little, they left this little dirt patch, which I don't really care for. I wish they hadn't done that. Um, because now they're going to prefer the gravel road instead of this one, purely because they don't need to hit dirt, right? They kind of have a preference based on minimum speeds and stuff. So I'm going to take, since they're not really using this much anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take and add this to the construction queue as well and make that a high priority so that I can start getting these vehicles to travel faster than 60 kilometers per hour. Um, and then I was thinking about also getting some snow plows for this year just to allow that to work faster. Uh, so I may do that, but the need to go to the border is is kind of niche now. It's mostly for the main supply line as opposed to delivery of what we already have in stock, which I realize is kind of a weird thing because uh, I need more food too. Food is super important. So um, what I think I'll do then is just so that we have something happening here, we're going to have a technical services, a free one. And uh, let's put this near the fuel station we're gonna say we want one one free one uh right over here on let's just do it right like this that's fine with me and we're gonna add some snow plows and what i'm what i'm really looking for is their plowing speed which is how fast do they do they move while they plow okay so these ones are 23 kilometers per hour if i'm willing to go a little bit slower though it's to 21 kilometers per hour I mean, I can have this for a lot less money. So I'm going to buy three of these. 
and then I'm going to tell them to pretty much just focus the gravel roads and uh, hopefully they they get on you know this whole this whole series here and then once this is done which hopefully is soon they can then start to do the gravel roads too but I want to keep them within a thousand meters of this location and that that should cover us for well I guess I want 2,000 meters yeah that's what I want <laughs> I guess it's 2,000. We'll cover it for 2,000 meters. And then they're, obviously they're going to be plowing a lot of stuff. But um, hopefully we at least get this kind of cleared off uh, during the winter. So we'll get some snow plows over there. And then moving people through here is going to be pretty important as well, isn't it? So uh, I also thought when my technical services will eventually shift them into more permanent offices. But uh, in the meantime, since we um, are going to need them anyway, we'll go ahead and put another free technical service office right here uh, maybe even two of them two freebies i think two freebies go about like this with it uh and then we'll just have the dirt roads going to here for now and then uh it's pretty much the same story here i, I want the snow plows and i want the ones that can do you know these ones are cheap so we'll buy them now if you're looking at my money and you're wondering where it came from. You guessed it. Maybe you didn't guess it. We took another loan. <laughs> so uh, we took another loan. We're up to 1.5 now. Uh, I borrowed another 120 grand just a couple days ago uh, before this video started. So we haven't paid much back, but I needed it. I needed it because I needed to buy uh, just stuff. I need, I need stuff. I know I'm getting really low on steel. I need stuff. So that's, that's why we're doing it, because I need stuff. Uh, this bus is 22. This one's 20. I'm looking for these big dumper trucks. So these big dumper trucks are almost out of gravel, too. Yikes. I pulled all my dumpers, right? I pulled them all off of the distribution office right over here, right? They're out of this completely because they needed repaired. And, like, a lot of these trucks needed repaired, so I've been doing that, too. Look at them all just line up here. This is silly. There's three roads in. Devs, really, we need the ability for more than one vehicle to move in this space at one time. You can't just, like, like let this guy leave while this guy comes in, you know? And uh, I know this gets a little bit easier, I think, once we start getting one-way roads. But eh, not much. Not much better. Well, in any case, we got gravel being delivered here now, which is going to be good. And then a little more work days and we're good to go there. All right. Um, anyway, to solve the gravel issue, I think I'd like to bring people here because we have some quarried stone right here, 472 of it from when these guys were doing their thing. Uh, and then we could bring that quarried stone into here and get it working. Why do you not have drinking water? Your sources. Oh, <laughs> I built this and I didn't connect it to a pipe. Okay, okay. Uh, well, you know, there's. That's what this is for, right? Is getting this, getting the water supply over here. That's what it's for. I'm gonna go like that, I guess. Yeah. That's gonna have to be fine with me. And we'll make sure that's a high. I can barely click it. High priority on you guys, and let's just get that going. And then you know. Fabric's going to be done in an okay amount of time, but I don't think that's a super high priority for me for now. Like, that pipe's not as important. Uh, what is important is the sewage, which is not allowing me to build? Why? Why not? You've already started it. Why would it be not allowed now? I'm, con I'm confused. You have construction offices assignments. No construction offices. Oh, this. Oh, okay. Did I mess that up? I'm not sure how I messed that up, but there you go. Construction offices are on. Uh, yeah. Plus, you need this, this, and this done, and then the sewage. Only then and only then is the sewage actually completed over here. Plus water for that. Uh, we're getting very close to having water. Yeah, there it is again. We're getting very close to having water and stuff. Let's unassign that from construction offices for now. Uh, actually, these there's a couple of construction offices that will auto assign, and that's these over here. Um, they've been doing auto assignments for a bit, just to make sure we keep going. I gotta tell you, 
with the exception of this bus, and we'll talk about this bus right now, um, but with the exception of this bus, man, construction buses coming here to get the plethora of workers that are waiting has been wonderful. We are getting things done so much faster than I thought we would now. It is a huge difference from going to the border all the way over there. Like, it's not just the food factory. The fact that this grain storage is 69% done, super nice. Uh, we got 93% uh, of this meat storage. The, the union guys left just 97% done and then moved on. From I don't know how that happened, but they did. You know, so like, this has been going and progressing quite well. 87% done on this. And this has to be done in order for us to continue the rail. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that too. And then we'll double back over there because... Well, actually, let's do this first because I'm already on this topic. Um, I think I need to move this because I've been thinking about it. There's really no reason why I shouldn't have this connected directly to food. You know, if I just move this a little bit closer, there's really no reason for that. So I'm just going to move this closer. Pull this rail back like this. And we're looking for uh, the grain storage. It's the 3200 crop one. And yeah, the, the roads on that side, that's fine. Let's put this close enough. And yeah, I'm going right against the road. I know that's maybe not as advised, but I'm kind of going right against the road here uh, so that we can get that factory connection to function right there. So I think that is going to be a better deal. Now I just like, like why store that when you can have all that grain coming right to food, right? The only thing I can think of for a reason to do that is if I want multiple food factories connected to it. But you know what's something? There's another connection. Right there, bro. Alright, so if you want two factories, guess what? You can have two factories connected to it. Just like this. With a road on that side, going that way. And a walking path on this side, coming in from here. It's all possible. Alright, even with the rail in. So, uh, we're gonna... We're going to do that. So this connects like that. There we go. And then what I want from this is I want this to be gone. And then I want you to come over and... Eh, that's a little bit too close, isn't it? Back that up just a tad. And I can go a little bit closer, actually. Yeah, that's fine. So there you go. Just that little tiny shift. Way better. And we don't need this connection. That, was a, that would be a waste of asphalt. So let's just get rid of that waste of gravel too so we'll just get rid of that that connection is pointless but this one this one matters uh and then we can also potentially use isn't there more connection points on this side i know there's roads on this side but uh which i think this is what was this is what we're going to use right here so i'm having a hard time speaking today it's a really funny thing that's happening to me so i sorry if i'm just like porky pig over here with yip, yip, yip. that's all folks okay i'm really sorry about that if that happens but it's just one of those days. I was looking for anything with a factory connection. Yeah, we do it over here too, right? So we have two factory connections here, plus one there. Uh, I, I kind of want this road to not interfere with anything that could potentially be here. And I was legitimately thinking about like going in with something that would integrate with that warehouse. So I don't want to put a food factory there. It would have to be, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's nearly no way for me to connect to this grain storage and to the warehouse unless I interrupt that road. So the only thing I can do for this road is to make a bridge. I may do that. We might just do the dirt road to build it and then just do the walking paths after that. That's better, right? Of course, there's no walking path connection to this grain storage, so it's not better, right? I just need this. And this looks like a one-way, too. This comes in and this leaves. By the looks of it, that's how that is. I can't get across that. I can go this way, but it still it interferes with a lot of stuff. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to connect the roads here. And... Ooh, you know what? I think I got it. I think I got it. If, if we space this out just right, can I get this to happen? Yeah. That's my answer right there. This gets me food. This gets me the food and the grain right there. Okay, that's the answer. So with that being the answer, I can do this. No big deal. Okay, figured that out. Next, uh, <laughs> freaking budget, dude. Oh my God. 
$27,000 left. Uh, I need to get people over here. That's where I wanted to go. I know, I'm all over the place. What are we going to do about it? Um, with the rail construction office, we require boards. And we require workers. So the workers are coming to this tunnel, which is not done yet. But this one is. Okay, this tunnel is done. Which means people can walk over there. Since people can walk over there, uh, here's what I want to do. We're going to say that this bus right here, this bus is flawed, okay? So I have right now a bus, this is Zill 158, this used bus that I bought a while ago. Its only job is going from the bus stop to the hospital. That's the only thing it's doing, back and forth, bringing passengers to the hospital to get care. But the thing is, it hasn't brought a single passenger since I put this on here. Even though there are passengers waiting to visit a doctor. Usually there's one in here, well, there's many in here that are waiting to visit a doctor. They are not getting on the bus. That sucks. So no passengers allowed here. Um, I was hoping that that would, that would work. But um, because remember, there's two houses over here that cannot reach the hospital. <laughs> They just can't walk that far. It's 400 meters away, you can see. So it's just it's just too far away. A little bit off on that math there. So I think to compromise with this, I'm going to take and put in... I'm going to do two things right now. I'm going to take a clinic. And we're going to put a clinic over here. Let's say like this should be fine. Maybe we'll put a little bit off the road because we're going to need uh, waste and stuff too. So we'll go just a little bit off the road. Perhaps like this will be enough space. At least I hope it is. Uh, let's double check. Waste. And let's just do uh, one of these. Yeah, let's we'll do one of these stands here. Large containers. Okay, so we can get this a little bit closer, actually. So we'll do the do the waste right here. Okay. What I want to do is wrap the clinic around the waste bin. Okay. So we'll just grab the clinic. And we're going to wrap it around that waste bin. Kind of like this. All right, seems good. And then uh, this will just be like, honestly, it's an an asphalt path. I, I just don't know if that's, I don't know if that's really gonna matter. It's not that far. I'm just gonna do this. So the idea being though that once this is connected and running, it should allow these houses and many more places looks like, uh, but it should allow these houses to now reach the clinic. We can think of this like as a university hospital kind of thing, a university clinic, all right? And we'll have some smart people hopefully over there treating patients. We'll have a couple of ambulances over there too. So that should connect these guys. And that means this bus, which is pointless, doesn't need to be this doing this anymore. So we're going to change this to load workers instead. We're going to send you to that stop to pick them up now. And we're going to remove this stop and replace it with going here, okay? That's where you go now. You're going to go right over here and you're not even going to not even going to worry about that hospital anymore. You just go right over here and pick up workers. 97 of them. Very, very good. We have so many workers. What we don't have so many of, steel, bricks, and boards. And uh, we are now out of boards and we are now out of bricks. So we can get rid of these temporary storages as well. These are no longer a thing for us. Oh, boy. Uh, let's just copy... We'll go boards uh, here. Let's go bricks here. Copy settings. Do here. Okay. My goodness. We've gotten rid of all temporary storages aside from the prefab panels. Pretty much. And then this West Construction Office can go too. We've also gotten rid of pretty much all of the construction offices over here, which is nice. To speed up construction even further, what I could do, which is, uh, you know, it's getting expensive, but, you know, we're on it. Uh, I can go in to get another construction office, a temporary one. We'll place it right over here. That's where the infrastructure is, so I can't, still can't do that. Uh, we'll place it right over here. And this can be a place for even more uh, of these. Where is it? Uh, let's actually move you. This has 100%. That's no good. 100% is a bad thing put you over here uh i want to have more concrete trucks which i know is more money but there's nothing i can do about it man i need them one two two <laughs> we're gonna do just just the two okay just just two 
Concrete, you get it from here. All right, there you go. And then everything else is whatever. So those two concrete trucks will help replace. And then you can see at 100%, they break down all the time. This thing's going to take probably all winter to get back over there. So it's going to be a long time. Uh, okay, so this bus should be bringing workers right there. Okay, now they're spreading out going wherever. Okay, but what I'm hoping they go to, I'm hoping some of them anyway, go over to here. I'm hoping they do that so that we can start processing this. By now, I should have some of these trucks ready to work. 28%, uh, 45%, come on, 13. 13, you know what? 13 is fine. 13 is going to work. We're going to we're going to have you deliver gravel here. Let's unload your gravel here. Then you're going to come over to this part. Yeah, this part right here. You're going to come over to this. Then you're going to from this, you're going to pick up. This isn't this is a loader, not an unloader. At least it should be. Otherwise, I screwed it up. Uh aggregate loading, yeah. Uh you're going to load the quarried stone from here and you're going to drop it off in this gravel processing center. All right. That's your route at 13%. Make it so. And then this bus is now getting fixed at 22%. Not bad. I don't need to put it in circulation just yet, but you know, we're getting there. This one here is at 44. I'm going to let these guys let these things keep getting repaired because it's needed really badly. So many vehicles need repaired. 22% now on that. Uh, and then... Where's my... Where's that truck? What are you guys doing? Huh? This dumper's doing nothing. Neither one of these guys are doing anything. What happened? What are you guys up to? Oh, you know what it was? You know what it was? I deleted the temporary... Those temporary storages over there were the origin points for these two trucks. They were responsible for taking gravel from those two points and eventually bringing it over here so that all of our construction offices could do it through here. Well, now that I've deleted those two stops, they have nowhere to go, so they're just going to sit here. This is convenient, though, because it means I can take this 252 dumper with 0%. It's just sitting here. That's wonderful. Uh, I can take this and tell it to go to this point. Okay. Uh, to this, you're going to load the quarried stone here. And then you're going to unload it uh, right in here. All right. You're going to unload quarried stone like this. Okay. That's your new, that's your new job. That's your new route. I think you're going to like it. I think it, I think you are. You're going to really get in on it. It's going to be great. All right. We have 10 workers here, but the building is without drinking water. I think, I think you'll be fine. Uh, I don't know how long the workers will stay here. They're at the start of their shift. So... We should at least get some gravel processed in here, which is good because we're completely out. Uh, and then this dumper, uh, yikes, you know, this dumper, I think maybe we can, um, you know, there's two parking spots here. So I'm going to have you do the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to have you do the same thing as this truck is doing. You know, you're going to the quarry. Where's the other one? Where's that other dumper that I just sent here? Is it you? Yeah, yeah, it's you. So I'm going to have this guy's route. As soon as he's done unloading this gravel. There we go. Delete that stop. Copy this route to this guy. And now this guy should be going to the aggregate. So if he comes here, he should now load this. Where are you going? To get fuel okay you should be loading this yep quartz stone dropping it in here now we can process this and we're making our own gravel now we don't need to go to the border and get it anymore this is good so because of that i can now delete this well uh no i can't delete this uh what i can do though is say don't grab gravel anymore instead only grab coal so now we have these two sources for coal I still need those big dumpers to get back on that route though. So these guys who were pulled off of this in order to get repaired, I still need these big trucks to get back over there and man that distribution uh, center. And so for 28%, it's November, it's 
I think I'm going to be fine with 28% and I'll bring you back later, but I'm going to have to be fine with that. I'm going to send you back to work now because I'm going to need, I'm going to need coal bad. Uh, I'm going to need money pretty soon too. Again, <laughs> it's relentless, man. The pursuit for money is always, it's just, it's always an overwhelming one. Uh, I'm going to wipe this loan at one, one, eight, nine, six, seven. The debt is up to 1.6. 1. 1.6. But this is done now. All that steel, it just sucked it all down, man. I got 25 tons left. What is it going to be used on? This is done. This is done. Uh, it's not done yet, but actually workers are just now getting delivered. And so this actually will finish now. Um, this is all done all the way up to the mines. Mines are it. That's it. And there's no more steel to deliver. Oh, I made it. Guys, there's 28 tons of steel left. And our coal system is totally done. Isn't it wonderful? I mean, it's going to be. I mean, it's not It's not done with workers, but it's it's done with steel. I, I'm, I've, that's it. I don't need any more steel. Yeah, a little bit there on the water. Uh, but we, co we could, if we can get people in that mine. Now, I've done some math, and I, my math might be wrong here, okay? But let me just walk you through some of the math of my power system, okay? This coal power plant is going to consume 24 tons of coal per day at maximum load, which it, it, it probably won't have maximum load because at the moment, at least until all of these power lines are done and we have them all routed to the other... Because this isn't all done yet. Um, we get it all routed to the other border. Uh, up until that point, we could only export 15 megawatts out that door. And we will probably be exporting 15 megawatts. Uh, so because of that, the uh, the fact th this coal power plant is never going to run at maximum capacity. But let's assume mathematically, right? Let's all assume that all of these things are running at their peak. Okay. This right here is going to be capable of 4.2 tons of coal ore per worker. However, this is a 57% quality source. So we're only going to get 57% of that value. That means we're going to be getting about 2.4 tons of coal with 100 workers. Okay, so 2.4 tons of coal with 100 workers. Uh, with, with Sorry, with 200... <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that. 2.4 tons of coal ore per worker with 200 workers, that's where I'm going, is a, is equivalent to 478-ish uh, tons of coal ore, all right? Now, this thing takes, uh, this thing takes 210, which is less than what we're going to be producing, right, uh, at maximum production, and it will con produce 120 tons of coal. This means we do not need 100% of the people on the mine. And in fact, I'm only going to have 50 people on the mine. Because if I can get 50 people on the mine, that gives me 120 tons of coal ore. At 120 tons of coal ore, I can make about 50 tons of coal per day. 50 tons of coal per day is twice what I need to have this thing running at full capacity. Which means... To make this whole system work and to allow this power plant to run at 100% all the time, I need 50 people in this mine. This mine needs to be a quarter full. And wouldn't you know it, there happens to be 50 foreign workers here pretty consistently. So that's what we're going to do initially. We're going to have foreign workers take care of this for us. So let me see if there's a bus over here. And uh, there just happens to be, a con conveniently located over here, there just happens to be another 695B, which can traverse up the mountain with 52 passengers. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's meant to be, but I don't like the 38%. I, I don't like that, that wear and tear. Um, so I, I probably won't save a little bit of money just in, and then have to uh, repair that, right? Because the this is going to cost me 3700 And a brand new one of that exact same bus is 5800 But I don't have to repair it very soon. And that actually has some value to me, not having to repair it. And so because I'm going to be buying a new bus anyway, we might as well maybe get something that's a little bit bigger. I don't know, 60 passengers uh, for about the same cost. And pretty much travels the same 
Uh, it doesn't travel the same speed, mind you, but this is a gravel road up the mountain, so I can't go 75 anyway. So, in other words, let's buy a bus. Okay? So this bus, which is just going to sit in here for a little bit, but this bus, the route we're going to have with this thing... Uh, and actually, I might be able to have a spare road depot. Can I have it? Ah, uh, seven out of seven. Okay, what about a... You know what? Let's just do a construction office. Because that keeps it in the area anyway. So, if I say that... Construction office, yeah. Because it keeps it right in the area anyway. So, this construction office is where this bus will live for now. Alright. Bus lives here. And then for this route, we want it to be able to refuel itself and stuff as well. So, Because right now what it's going to do is it's going to head to here. Well, if you're going to do that, you might as well just make this over here your home. Yeah, I'm just going to have this be your home for now. Because um, you're going to go over there anyway for your fuel consumption. What I'd like to do here is make sure that there's a fuel station. It could be a temporary one. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Uh, but we're going to have a temporary fuel station right here. And this is where vehicles can come to refuel themselves. Fuel rats, you 20 out of 20. Okay. Um, tell you what, there's probably a free one here that I don't need. Where's this one? This is in the middle. There's one there and there's one there. So this is there's three of them here. I think I can take out the middle guy here. Of course, of all the ones to take out, the middle one, that middle one's probably not the best one to take out. What I probably should take out is this one. Yeah, so this is called the Charlevin's Gas Station Free. That's that's it? So it's... Oh, Charlevin's, right. Uh, this one. Nope. They have the same... Oh, this is South. Gotcha. This one. <laughs> there it is. Get rid of that. Okay, so we're not going to refill this. They'll use the fuel as they need, and then it's going to be empty. So instead, the fuel rats will now make sure that this one is the one that has fuel in it more persistently. And why don't we give it... No, 30% is an okay thing. I think 30% is fine. Um, how do I have concrete trucks just sitting here? You really don't have any jobs? I mean, don't get me wrong. It warms my heart. But I think you have a job. <laughs> I think we're going to put you on this job. And then this. Now you have jobs. Ta-da! Look, jobs. So, go do things. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think we, we're ready, though, right? We're ready to start exporting power, potentially. Uh, we currently have about, what, 24 tons at max. We don't need max. Um, so we can regulate that. So I think we're ready to get our own, to be self-sufficient with our own power here and start exporting power to help us with money. Because we really do need that. We have a lot of workers here just waiting. So uh, why don't we grab some of these buses? south bus stop so i don't want to disrupt these buses because they are sending them to heat uh and i think there are two buses on this route two buses on this route who are just sending people over here so that they could go work in heat right um so we want to keep that as a nice rotation it's not that long of a distance so two buses is sufficient for that and then we have the uh wonderful fire station bus going over and delivering people to that little fire station and then uh here's the coal mine uh no this is actually a construction bus because that's i need to keep this in mind this bus i want this to always be my construction buses i want to look at this bus stop and not have to click on anything to know that those passengers are being sent to a construction site and that is exactly what i should be doing so these buses that are different looking they need to go someplace else. Right now, one worker, that's very inefficient. So we're going to change your workplace. And at the moment, uh, I just want another road here, right over here. Change your workplace to this. We're just going to cancel this one little this one little worker. Right? One person sitting in a bus. We're not going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to... When we stop doing a lot of construction, which I think is exactly what we're going to do in the winter time, we're going to stop doing a lot of construction. That's going to free up the roadways. It's going to mean that these vehicles don't wear out as much. They don't have to run around as much. Um, and then we can focus our workers on keeping power on, keeping heat on, um, bringing them over here so that they can make our make gravel. We're doing pretty well on that now. Got to say I like that. 
definitely unloading all the quarried stone and we're working with this and we're trying to get the water hooked up sooner rather than later please with your non-existent boards i mean are we we still are buying steel right that's why my money's dro dro going down the problem is that it's just that we only have three open hull trucks to do this we only have three vehicles doing distribution because the game in case anyone's wondering because this update changed a lot of rules right like for example you can't use fire helicopters with fire departments because it takes research despite the fact that you can use helicopters for construction which is objectively way more difficult uh helicopter logistically to use it for construction than it is to use it for fighting fires um i'm just saying go to lake with big bucket pick up water take it to place and dump water is more complicated is, is sorry less complicated than uh getting very very specific in your position around a construction site to lower and raise things with a helicopter okay i'm just thinking out loud i think that's probably if you're gonna let me do it with construction you should probably let me do it with fire i'm just saying but i know why you do it that way i know why the developer chose to do that is because people would just use fire helicopters to put out fires in the early game and they wouldn't really rely on workers and so now you're making me do that construction never required workers for helicopters anyway so that's why you don't require that so i get it i just i'm salty about it so anyway um <laughs> what i was saying here is that one of the things that's locked behind uh research that i don't agree with being locked behind research because there's objectively no real reason why i don't know how to do this is distribution offices distribution offices are locked behind research despite the fact that they are simply a building that gets more uh more vehicles doing identical tasks and identical functions in every possible way to the free one with the only exception being having its own fuel tank which doesn't require research for me to do it is like the only thing i can think of uh, in the entire game where the free version is unlocked and ready to go but the full version of that thing is locked and not ready to go uh maybe with the exception i didn't check maybe with the exception of demolition nope demo offices are fine and so is the free one right so it's like okay i have road depots and i can do the full one even though i can get a free one i can do a full one right cargo stations can't i can i don't have distribution office but I do have the free one. It's weird. It's just weird to me. Construction offices. I have the free ones and I have these ones. Storages. I have the free ones and I have the full ones. All of those things are unlocked. All of the things that I have for free, the more advanced version of all the free stuff is unlocked and ready for me to use, except distribution offices. And I objectively don't think there's any real practical reason to lock that behind uh, research other than just limiting my growth without getting people. That's the only thing I can think of. And so that's why I'm not using intelligent distribution networks yet for things is because I can't until I research it. Speaking of research, man, oh man, is that slow. I wish I had faster researchers. I wish I had more smart people. There's lots of people waiting in the auditorium. Uh, why don't we take all the smart people that are here? There's 28 of them. And why don't we allow those 28 people to, uh, I don't know, go work in the university, right? And then, uh, is there any place else that has really smart people? Like a bunch of them? 41. Ooh. But you're working in the hospital. That's why. Yeah, I need you in the hospital, especially in the wintertime. I definitely want you in the hospital. Because we're going to get sick people. You know what's going to happen. We're going to it's going to bring them right in. All my plows are ready to go. No garbage truck for it's okay. We don't need that. All this stuff, none of this matters. The only thing that matters for you guys is that you're keeping the gravel roads and the asphalt roads clean. That's it. So, all of this stuff is the only thing that matters. I really don't know what the percentages are for. Like, you I want you to clean 100% of gravel roads. Okay. I feel like this should be a priority system. You know, do asphalt roads then gravel roads then etc but it's a little difficult to kind of figure out exactly what these percentages mean other than like you're good on asphalt roads as long as 70 percent of them are plowed you know like i don't i don't like that i don't know 
Maybe that's not how that works, but I've just never really looked into it. So I'm just looking at it like at first glance sort of thing, I guess. Did we get the sewage thing done? I would actually really like to get this done. It requires some steel though, so that's kind of taboo. <laughs> uh, can we get some people over to coal, please? I think we should get people over to coal, uh, at least over to the power plant. So we're gonna take this bus and you are gonna start your route here. You're gonna grab workers from here and you're gonna bring them all the way over and it looks like we're gonna have to dump them uh, here and then have them walk over, which is not great, but that's the only way to do this route to where I can have multiple buses bringing all these workers over and then they can still walk to here and process it. And then I can have the foreign workers come over to the mine and work the mine. Once the foreign workers are doing this, they'll dump all the stuff in here and then it'll get fed in here and everything will just start working. Oh, won't that be great? So I'm gonna do this. Drop you all right there. Unload all your passengers at this bus stop. That's your route, all right? Now, this is gonna be a very important route for us in the future. So I definitely wanna have like three, possibly four buses on this. But keep in mind the number of workers that need to come over here. Only 15 people are needed in this building. And I don't need this building at full capacity. So really all I need are 10 workers here, okay? I also really don't need full capacity here, but I'm gonna let that happen because I wanna have maximum impacts for exports. But in order to do the maximum export here, as long as I'm feeding enough coal from that mine, I don't actually need this full. So maybe I'll just go 12 here for now, just to kind of you know, give me a few extra workers. Um, so with that in mind, this bus stop with capacity at 40, 20 are going there, 15 here. We don't need 100% of these workers, you know? We don't really need you to fill 100%. I'm gonna go with 90, just to kind of, you know, it, it might as well leave people behind if you don't need that many, right? Uh, so with that being done, I want to also find another one of these blue buses and maybe I just buy another one right now. I think I'm going to buy another one. This is a SKD 706 RTO Lux. Yep. We're going to buy one of those. Uh, well, let's hit the used market first. Maybe there's a discount on one that's maybe lightly used. It's always good to check the used market, I suppose. It's still the same buses. Okay. So, uh, different thing then. Uh, hi, bus. What's your 60 capacity? Um, yeah, you're the one that's going to the, to the construction site over there. So, you're just going to hang out. You're my, you're my coal mine people. And I think... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just make this happen. So let's just buy the vehicle here since it has to refuel and get over there anyway. Uh, and then we'll say it's this one here, right? Yeah. Probably want more of these. I'm gonna buy one more. So we're gonna get two more, sorry. So two two more total buses, and then this route is gonna get copied to this one. And it's also gonna get copied to uh, this one for now. I think I actually will redirect this one to be something different though. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and tell you to make this your home right now so that you drive all the way over here without refueling. If I can game the system that way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure you'll actually do that. You may refuel on the way, but I'm hoping that you don't. So let's see what you do. Uh, and then for you, I'm going to tell you to go on your route. Okay. We just picked up 37 workers and they're going to head over to the coal area to start providing our own power. Okay. Very good things are happening now. They're traveling on the asphalt roads because they're capable of 80, 85 kilometers per hour. So they're capable of going faster, but they are going to uh, head that way on the gravel roads to get around there. And that's fine, at least until we get asphalt done over through here. So I would like to start getting asphalt going. I don't want to do too many asphalt roads. I'm kind of being strategic with which ones I do and kind of being conservative on that because uh, I would like to not have to pay for the asphalt. I would like to instead pay for the bitumen. Now bitumen per ton is way more pricey than asphalt, but you use very little bitumen to make asphalt in that tonnage. So it ends up being cheaper to purchase bitumen than it is, uh, well, than it is, yeah. It ends up being cheaper to do that. Now, if I'm gonna do oil processing over here, 
Sending the bitumen over here is kind of far away. Uh, but I am curious if I could... First off, let me just see where that... Where's that at? It's on this side. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. It's almost like I was thinking about this before. So we can go about this far. Exa almost exactly this far before we need a pump. And so I thought, since we need a pump this, this far away, so right, right about there, okay? And then from there, we'll need a pump, and then the pump will go uh, this far to a tank, all right? And then this can feed to the tank potentially there. So I'm just kind of trying to see where my bitumen tank needs to be located. And it looks like I can probably get away with having the tank for the bitumen here. That way it can do a pump and then into it, uh, maybe another tank and then into it. But uh, it's over here. Sorry, <laughs> I got lost. Uh, I, I think I think that's going to be fine. But let's uh, maybe lay that out just so we can get an idea of where it needs to go. Because I do want the tank to be more over here since we're taking it from the border initially. And so the trucks are going to have to drop it off over here. Uh, and this is also where our oil system is, which is really well balanced. I've gotten a comment about this too. I specifically did this and balanced this out so that this tank is always with oil, okay? In the spring, summer, and fall, these vehicles move fast enough to drain this tank with gravel roads. Now, now that I'm introducing asphalt, I may need to adjust the route, but uh, with gravel these things move fast enough to drain this tank slowly as soon as the snow hits and it starts slowing down traffic they don't empty the tank as quickly as the tank fills and so through the winter i get to gain supply that they can dip into and gain and dip into and this kind of keeps the balance a little bit every once in a while again because i introduced uh, asphalt roads now that's going to change a little bit since these things can go 70 instead of 60. But um, during the winter, also, now that I have plows, that'll definitely screw it up. So I may need to reduce the number of trucks that are doing this now that I have the plows. Um, but regardless, uh, this thing pretty consistently has oil as long as I have power. Speaking of power, I now have 18 workers in here. Let's pause it really quick. And I've got 12 workers in here, but we're missing the coal ore. That's completely fine. Eventually, we'll get the coal ore. This just isn't done yet, but it's wor we're working on it. We're getting very close. Uh, <laughs> I said it again. Um, so what I want to do now is switch. I need to switch this to being from import to sell. And now I'm going to allow them to sell let's say nine megawatts up to nine megawatts. And what will happen now is we can now start to produce our own power and the money will tick up now. And I can just ramp this up if I want to and really crank up the power that this thing is using. And it won't use 100% of its coal because it can't export 100% since it's limited by the capacity of the power lines. So if I look at the overlays, and this is mostly for new players. I walk people through this because I don't want you lost. I want you to see the, the plan, right? I'm, you got to remember, I'm not making this game for people who play this game, right? I'm making these videos for everybody, regardless of your experience, including those who don't have the game. So I want you to know what I'm up to. So you're like, okay, I can follow along with how he's doing things. So if I take a look at my overlay, you can see that this is going to flash red. When it flashes red like this, that means it's hitting the maximum capacity that it can handle. So these lines are going to be running the maximum load that they can, all right? Now, this, of course, only works if this is constantly with workers. And uh, I need to look at their shift. And you can see their shift is about to expire. And as soon as their shift expires, our power is going to drop to zero because we don't have enough people. Uh, so I definitely need more buses doing this coal route than what I have. So at the moment, uh, I just got a little taste of what it's like to export power, but we are going to lose the workers. And as soon as we do that, I will have to go back to purchase mode, which isn't what I want to do. So I need to keep uh, expanding on how I bring people to this place. And I think eventually, maybe even sooner than you think, I'm going to start switching into personal cars so that we always have people kind of moving over here. Now, that's going to be a controversial decision for people who play this game because personal cars are less, effic less efficient than pretty much any other way of bringing people to a workplace. 
okay? And they're that way because workers are going to reserve their workspaces when they leave their homes. They don't, they don't reserve it when they arrive, which means if you have a building that is only, or if you have a building that has people working at it uh, with personal cars, you will most likely never see that building completely full because some of those workspaces have been reserved by people who um, who are not in the building, okay? And not yet anyway. So you gotta keep that in mind if you're using personal cars. However, like I said before, the mine doesn't need to be full. It just needs people there constantly. So I don't care if they reserve their spaces so long as they get there. This space here is great as a parking space so people can drive to the coal mine as long as it's not too far away. And I don't believe it is too far away because if I look at this and I say, hey, I want you to cover a working range of 3,000 meters. If I switch this to 2,000 meters, this is keep in mind, this is all the way over here, so not these guys. If I do this, well, hang on. Now, I thought for sure this reached. Oh, I thought for sure that reached. I might be wrong on that. You know what? I think the plan can still work, but I, I see the flaw in it now. Um, because I, I was... Mm, wow, I thought for sure that was... Did I click the wrong building before? I might have clicked the wrong building before. Oh, I could have swore that that would reach. You know what? Ignore me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, like, I, I guess this was the 3,000 when I thought it was the 2,000. Because I thought 2,000 was going to get to right there. But that's 3,000. So I, I'm i mistaken. That's not that's not uh, not close enough for that. Uh, well, back to this plan then. <laughs> uh, if this is done. Is this done yet? 81%. I am curious if this bus route will deliver workers to the construction site. Um, so I, I kind of want to try this route right now. Let's, let's get this thing moving right now. We're going to say that I want you to pick up the workers, foreign workers and from the customs house and you're going to bring them to this bus stop right here okay and uh you'll unload them right here that's your route go now what i want to see is if they come off of that bus stop and they'll walk over to the construction site and work at the construction site because i cannot actually bring them directly to the mine i, I can't tell them to to come to the mine you can't do that to foreign workers uh with constructions you have to, if you're going to do it with foreign workers with construction, then you have to do it through the construction office. But, you know, I could, I could maybe just turn this into a construction office bus. I had this, I had it like this already, right? Like we just did this and then I undid it. I can redo it just to make sure. I'm going to redo it just to make sure. There's no reason not to. Um... And then I think this keeps the same route, like saved in its memory or something. And then when I switch it back to being, where did that bus go? Where did you go? The bus is just gone. Well, we can find it by doing this. Uh, we'll say bus stop. Where's your related vehicle? Uh, it'd be this one. Wait, there's a microbus doing this too? Oh, there's already a microbus trying this. I don't think it's working then, is it? It does, it, it does work. It absolutely does work. Okay, there's two buses doing this now. Perfect. I'm just gonna let them go. Forget it. Doesn't have to be a construction office. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of times. And maybe this is why you guys like the idea of, you know, seeing everything. These are the kinds of times where I would normally just have cut the video already. Like this, this isn't one of those instances where I would have cut it. Uh, and then I would have said, hey, we're going to do it this way. Or I would have just not like omitted this because it didn't work. I was spending time setting something up and it never, it's not going to work. Right. Um, why are you confused? Starting or ending not connected with road. Huh? It's not the oil. It's not the oil, so I don't know what's not connected. I think they're just confused. That's why the question marks, because they're confused. 
Well, we don't have people constantly working gravel, but we do have a good supply of gravel. So I think I've solved the gravel problem. Um, I have to solve the food issue. If we start running out of food or clothing, electronics, meat, etc., we're obviously still buying that stuff. But uh, we actually have two workers in here. So when they get dropped off here, they are walking to the food factory. Uh, and that means getting crops delivered here is a good idea. So let's do that. Just have, since you're sitting here doing nothing anyway, right? We have uh, a covered haul and a refrigeration truck. This covered haul is doing nothing because it's got six and a half tons of clothes on it. Why? Why do you have clothes on you? Because you over delivered and you won't. Uh, okay. I understand now. Um, can I add another covered hull to this or no? I don't think so. So unless there's a clothing delivery. All right. Well, we're going to have to do it this way. We're going to say that we want a covered hull, big truck, a big covered hull by total capacity. Same thing as we're doing. Only this one is going to be, uh, let's make it white. That's fine. And your route is to grab crops from here. Crops. And you're going to come over and you're going to drop them directly into the... Directly into the food factory. Crops. Wait till unloaded. And that's your route. There you go. That's your route. And we'll have a truck that is going to be handling that until the train can handle it. Eventually the train will handle it. Uh, but for now we'll do it this way. Yep, 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 yep. Look at the wear and tear on this bad boy. He's going to buy more steel. Of course he is. Because I want him to do the power lines. So that makes sense. Uh, speaking of which, I'm back on import now. And I shouldn't be. I got, Yeah, let's, let's get off of import. This is what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to go back and forth with this. Um, but it's kind of needed in the wintertime especially until I get the other vehicle. Which I now have that other bus. And uh, if I want to stop construction vehicles from doing this. Oh, there's another RTO Lux right here. Cool. Um, if I want to stop construction vehicles from constantly bringing them to different sites, then uh, I can just cancel all of these. And uh, that will bring everybody back home. So let's just do that. And we're, gonna, we're just going to leave this off for now. So there's no construction projects for these guys. And that's going to free up the workforce to go other places. So this one is going to south bus stop i need to rename these bus stops too i'll think i'll do that offline well or i'll do it now i guess this is the uh, charlevin's heat charlevin's uh heating stop Let's go with the heat stop heating stop uh and then this one over here is going to be the uh charlevin's south south um manufacturing yeah, manufacturing stop. That's fine. Because we're, we're making things here. We make gravel. We make fabrics. We make food. Uh, eventually, we're going to make fuel. This is all about manufacturing. Uh, but this is at least one of the stops. I should probably push to have this be man dot stop and then one. That way, when we do a man stop two for oil and stuff, uh, they're not confusing. Uh, okay. So now we still have some vehicles... Just one, I guess. Some vehicles doing construction. That's okay. Uh, but the rest of them are not doing any more construction. So the construction for the mine over there is simply going to be done by uh, foreign workers until they, the mine is done. And at that point, the same route will then deliver uh, workers to work in the mine. Because that's what they'll do. And everything will be uh, A-OK, -okay, I think. We may need some garbage trucks. I'm wondering if there is a... Uh, there isn't, but it's, it's technical services. Do I have an extra one? Uh, I do, yes. So I, I think I want another technical services office to be right over here. Let's put it, put it on the corner maybe here. Nah. I want them to gather this garbage. I want garbage to be delivered by something or to be gathered by something a bit more local. We'll, we'll do it like right here, I guess. Because it needs to get up to the coal mine, too. So, 
And then we'll have the big garbage trucks for containers. And we'll just say that... Uh, I'll make it this color. We'll put two of these. I don't think we'll need one of the other ones. Uh, we'll get two of these. I don't think we need the small container ones. But if we do happen to need the small container ones in the future, I can shift it over to the other one, right? Over to the other uh, technical service office. So we'll at least get one, I suppose. And then the mixed waste goes here. The hazardous waste goes to Le Bordeaux. And uh, all of the other waste, construction waste, is going to go... I lost my way again. Construction waste is going to go over here. Yep. Uh, we don't need to really mark it, but I'll do it anyway. Water is gathered from here. Uh, okay. Guys, this has been my one hour of showing you everything video. How did you like the pacing? Did we do okay? I know we didn't get maybe as much done as we'd normally do in a single episode, but I mean... Um, you know, we got a lot of stuff we're doing. And now we don't have any power. This is my this is what I'm trying to fix. Right? Without any power, I gotta keep I gotta keep playing with this. Right? Now, you may not want me to, because maybe you don't like seeing every single thing. I understand. I get you. But when we come back for the next one, we'll be coming back uh, on December 4th. Because that's what date it is now. So I'll we'll pause it right here and we'll come back at exactly right now for the next one so you don't miss anything. I'm just like there you go. That's with a dash mark. See this dash mark? In case you guys didn't know, this is the time of day. So as this as the day goes on, it goes like this. And once this fills up, it goes to the next day. So you can always tell at what time of day it is. Uh, on the hover, it'll also tell you the light. So, you know, they have the darker shade. That's the nighttime. And then the brighter shade is the daytime, right? So there you go. Learn something if you didn't know that. So when we come back for the next one, exactly right here. Take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.